again, thank God for Jesus. I was just on the way down here sharing with my wife. You know, we woke up this morning, it was so foggy outside. I told my wife, that's the day. That's one of the things God used to get me to come to a knowledge of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Uh, I, uh, some of you know, I'm a 10th degree black belt. I retired years ago as a heavyweight champion with Karate World Rating System and had the privilege of being voted to the Black Belt Hall of Fame. But years ago, what happened, I was coming back from a martial arts tournament when I was a 15-year-old teenager, and I wouldn't fight with the teenagers. They weren't competition, so I fought with the grown men. And I just won this championship. You know how we guys have ego problems sometimes. You know, my head was real big. And we're coming back in the van in Japanese. You call your teacher sensei, and he was driving. And it was so foggy, you couldn't see from here to this table. He had his window rolled down. He's looking at the guardrail in the middle of the highway, going down the Pennsylvania Turnpike. I said, sensei, stop the van. We might run the guy. Now, I, I've broken boards in my head and break bricks in my hand and been still borrowed. But this guy broke bricks with his head and knocked a few things loose. <laughs> I said, Sensei, stop the van, we might reckon die. This guy says, if we die, we just die. <laughs> Look at them, you crazy? And I never thought about dying before. For the first time, I thought, if my Sensei, and, his, and he was struck, by the way, if he wrecks this van, if we die tonight, I know I'm not going to go to hell. Hmm. The only thing I heard is you got to be good to go to heaven, and I knew I wasn't good. Got trouble with school, trouble at home, trouble with the law. And so, to make a long story short, I tossed and turned when I got home, saying, If you die, you're going to go to hell. And I remember saying, I don't want to go to hell, I want to go to heaven. I don't know how to get there. Hmm. Make a long story short, one week later, bam, 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 knock on the door, open up the door, and see the man, his wife, a young teenager. They said, Hey, we're starting a bus route, we'd like to invite you to church. So I thought I'd get rid of them. I said, I would go to church. Talking about two times a year, Christmas and Easter. Right? <laughs> Whether I need it or not, I want They said, hey, there's something more important to go to church. I said, what's that? They said, go to heaven when you die. Then they scared me. Look, they smacked down my eyeballs. They said, young man, if you die today, do you know for sure you go to heaven? I was like, man, I've been thinking about dying all week. Don't talk like that. I said, do you know? They said, yeah. I said, did you show me? They said, yeah. I said, come on in. <laughs> they looked at each other like, okay. See, they didn't know the Holy Ghost already had me ready. Come on, somebody. Amen. To make a long story short, they told me I was a sinner. Romans 3, 10, as it's written, there's none righteous, no, not one. Show me verse 23, for all of sin that comes short of the glory of God. Amen. Thank God they showed me no Romans 5, 8, but God. I like what God puts in. Come on now. But God commanded his love toward us, and that while we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. And they, stand, they said, stand, if you died, you would deserve to go to hell just like we would. But because Jesus died and took your place, and he rose again, he said, now God. God has a free gift for you. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Amen. Jesus Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, if you're willing to call upon him right now, trust him as your savior. Ask him to wash away your sins. He'll do a transfer of accounts. He'll take your sin and give you his righteousness. He showed me Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus shall believe in thine heart that God will raise him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confesses made to salvation. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him should not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord is rich unto all who call upon him. Here it is now, verse 13. For who so yeah. shall yeah. call upon the name of the Lord? Right? I came down to the old Bible. They said, what's the Bible for? I said, in the Bible, holy? They said, yeah. I said, I want something holy around when I get saved. <laughs> it was February 14, 1976, 630 at night. I got down on my knees as a 15-year-old. I said, dear God, I'm a sinner. I deserve to go to hell, but forgive me. I don't trust the priest or the pope for baptism. I just trust the blood of Jesus. Thank Save you. me now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And I'll tell you why. When I got on my knees, I was on my way to hell. But by the time I got up, I was on my way to heaven. I said, when I got on my knees, I was a child of the devil. But by the time I got up, I was a child of the king. Come on, son. There's only one reason. It's because of the blood. Amen. The blood. Philippians 2, 5, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery.
but it be equal to him. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. It was made in likeness of man. And being found in passions of man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death on the cross. Wherefore, God also hath highly exalted him Amen. and given him a name. Come now, giving him a what? A name. A name. That's above every, every name. name. That the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. He came from the hallelujahs of heaven to the hisses of earth. He came from the joys of heaven to the jeers of earth. He was heaven's bread and earth's hunger. He was heaven's joy and earth's sorrow. He who was crowned with the crown of Almighty God laid it aside and was crowned with the crown of thorns Amen. for you. And he who was clothed with the robe of righteousness laid it aside and was clothed with the robe of mockery. Why? For you. You see, Jesus is the reason for the season. Come on now. All right. Come on, guys. All right. The old ship of Zion. Let me mount the top of the highest mast. Let me tell you his name one more time. He's Adam, advocate, anointed, apostle. Author, amen. amen, Alpha, Ancient of Days, and Born of a Woman. He's the beginning, the begotten, the beloved, the branch, the bread, the bridegroom, the bright and morning star. He's the bishop of our souls. He's the cluster of camphor, chief cornerstone, counselor, covenant, chosen of God, and our Christ. He's the daysman, deliverer, day spring. Day star, door, and the desire of all nations. He is the elect, ensign, everlasting of our Father. He's our forerunner, but thank God, he's my friend. Amen. He's the first fruit, faithful witness. He's the fountain of life, issuing from the caves of death. He's God, gift of God, governor, guide, and our glorious Lord. He's help, hope, husband, horn of salvation. He's the healer, head of the church, But thank God he's the holy, most holy one of all. Somebody say amen. Yeah. 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 Hold on one minute. We just had a brother in this line who got saved while you Come on now. <laughs> Song. 
Amen. Jesus, precious Jesus. And I close with this with this A missionary went to a South Sea Island and did the best he could for Jesus. And only had one convert. He was gone to get on the boat to go home. The one convert came down and said, Sir, before you leave, would you tell me that name just one more time? The missionary said, he said, was a little embarrassed, a lot of people around. And he said, well, his name, his name is Jesus. The missionary got on the boat and the boat started to go off. And the convert said, Sir, sir, please, that name, I love the sound of that name. Tell me that name again. And again, the missionary's on the boat now and everybody's around. He says, well, his name is Jesus. A little further out the boat until almost out of sight. That young convert cupped his hands together. Sir, please tell me that name one more time. And by this time, the missionary was fired up and lost his embarrassment. And he yelled out, his name is Jesus, the sweetest name I know. By the, that missionary's own account, the next island he went to, he burned that island up. You know why? Because there's a revival. There's power in the name that's above every name. And there's everything going on. Don't forget the power in the name of Jesus.